So the reality of Huntress and Risk of Rain 2 is if you're trying to speedrun, this is um, one of the best characters, if not the best character for speedrunning in my opinion, uh, because it has super high mobility, as you can see here. Uh, it has super high mobility, pretty good damage, and yeah, but it, you know, it has one problem, and that problem is its health. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make Huntress a very suitable character for speedrunning. She's already very good at speedrunning, but I, I'm going to show you how to make the Huntress character even better. So make sure to stay around. Alright guys, so the first thing that you're going to need is you're going to need a uh, white item and I would recommend uh, doing this on with the command of artifact on. Uh, can you please stop that? I'm trying to do this right now and this guy's being annoying and so are the others. But basically what you're going to need is you're going to need the that. You're going to need that, the repulsion armor plate. And so I would say probably get around five of those if you can. Uh, five of them is usually very helpful and then once you have five of them you should be good with the defense and all you need now is the regen for the like little bit of damage you do take so let's just go ahead and grab five repulsion armor plates uh so it shouldn't be that bad all right guys so this level kept deciding it wanted to give me green items so what you do with green items is you get infusion with just make yourself even stronger which is what infusion does so get infusion uh and when get infusion when you have green items uh so like i said this level kept giving me green items uh so i wasn't really able to get anything when you get a red item i think they're called mythics uh get a dio's best friend item that is probably the best item in the game because it literally gives you the ability to cheat death which is actually so overpowered basically it's a totem of undying from minecraft if you guys have played that i will uh do a full guide on uh i might do a full guide on how to speed run with other characters if this uh video gets a lot of views so make sure to leave a like down below and subscribe and let's just finish that all right i'll see you guys on the teleporter's charge all right guys so i'm back uh and i'm in stage two uh the stage looks already about a hundred times better than the other stage so like i already see so many more things uh i'm going to steer clear of the void uh and like and uh for as mentioned if you guys play with survivors of the void dlc on you guys uh you guys don't need to uh there's no void items required in this loadout if you get a void item that's honestly up to you on what you want to use and what you want to get there's really no like i don't at least as far as i know uh there's nothing that the void item has that is really good to your loadout uh with the exception of i think there's like a void version of Dio's best friend uh that you do want to get that if you have the option get that because that's basically the same thing except it corrupts another one of your items uh, after you use it so it's actually really good though honestly uh Okay, where am I gonna go here? Alright, I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna go over here, get that. We're gonna probably get, what should we get? Probably that. Sorry, I was playing with one hand. Okay. Alright guys, so once you get five or so, or how many, or however many uh, of the repulsion armor plates you think you're gonna need. I would recommend five because that's a pretty easy number to get, and it's not, and it, and that provides a decent amount of coverage. After that, what you want to get next is you want to get a cautious slug, and like I said, you also want to get five of these because then it that increases your health, or not your health, uh, it increases the amount of damage you can take. Uh, not the amount of damage you can take, you know, like, how fast you can heal, and the reason I do this combo, and I find this pretty, uh, powerful and efficient, is 
when you have that reduced damage uh, multiplier, uh, that makes it so you so you're less likely to have to go out and heal. But when you do have to go out and heal, you have that uh, five multiplier. Uh, you also have that five multiplier for the healer for the healing with the cautious slug. Uh, and I choose the cautious slug over anything else because it because you can do it. Uh, basically, as as long as you're not like fighting something or something's not targeting you, you're gonna be fine. Which is why I choose it over the other healing items in the game. Bustling fungus would also work, or realistically, med kits would also work. I guess it's kind of just down to whatever you uh, feel like you want. Like I said, most of this is just kind of my prep, personal preference, but uh, I would recommend that. And then there's five more. Uh, there's one more item that you need to get, and I will show you that in the next stage. All right, guys. So once you have uh, found the other two items, uh, then my third and final item that really helps out a lot with speedruns is gonna be probably the soldier syringe. And uh, there is one thing that's important about this kit uh, is that you uh, you can get these in any order you want. Uh, you can get the uh, things in any order you want. I just chose it to do in this order because uh, like I. Uh, just chose it to do in this order because it was going to be easiest for me. But if you find that you keep dying before you can get this kit uh, fully, like if you, before you can fully get all the items you need, then maybe try it doing it in an it. Yeah, maybe try doing it in a different order. Uh, but there is no like right or wrong way to to do this. Um, there's no right or wrong way to do this. Like uh. To like get the or uh, items in order it's just how i prefer to do it uh but some people may prefer to do it a different way uh like pab prefers to do it in he prefers to just get one of basically every single item in the game which is actually not a bad strategy it just yeah, i don't like that strategy i like to have a lot of high like coverage on one thing so that's why i try to get it like this that's why i try to do it with like these three or items these three items that are that make me overpowered uh that's basically my strategy these three items make me so overpowered it, at least i know how to play them so well that it just makes it so much easier than having to like get a million of them than having to get every single item in the game which is kind of crazy i don't know how pa how i don't know how pav does it but Whatever he's able to beat the game with is fine in my book. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna probably go to the next stage and get the rest of these items because I don't think this map has very many items in it. So yeah, I'll see you in the next stage. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, we're on the fourth map. Let's just go ahead and take that quickly. And we'll take the weeping fungus. Like I said, that's the void stuff is up to you. Uh, I'll take the weeping fungus just because why not? Uh, okay. We need a hundred coins to get a chest, which is gonna be a little bit annoying. Okay. Yeah. Yep. I hate this already. I already hate this game. Are you kidding me? There's a, there's a ton of birds, and they're all trying to kill me, and a bunch of them have, like, some power up that makes them harder to kill. Are you serious? And that does, like, nothing to them, too, which is really annoying. Because now these guys literally take, like, no damage. Okay, yeah, I'm about to die. That's why I have my fruit. Oh, well, I have enough now, so we can go ahead and open that and take that and get out of here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm good. I'm good. Yep. Oh, okay. Get out. Get out. Get out. If you guys have completed the loadout, uh, I then that's basically up to you. I would recommend shields. 
uh, because they're shields, they give you extra health. Uh, I, that's why I take a lot. That's why I like to take shields after I collect those three. After I collect them, they're not essential to the loadout. They just increase your survive your survivability rates by a little. Uh, but they're not any. But they're not essential. So, uh, yeah, they're not essential at all. So you know you can. They're kind of your choice whether you want to get more stuff on top of it or if you just want to take the basics. Cause they'll you'll still probably survive. Even without it, it just makes it a, it just makes it that much easier to do it. So, uh, okay, let's just go ahead, take out this guy, and then uh, speed around the final level. So, what I do, what I find uh, helpful is I find that um, knowing not to waste your uh, that move on him, it doesn't actually hurt that guy. Uh, so that move, the arrow move. If you're using that one, it doesn't hurt him. He also has a second move called Ballista, which uh, is actually really good too. But the problem with uh, Huntress's Ballista is that it kind of, it's kind of bad. It only has like, I think six shots or something. And that's in place of Aerostorm. Uh, so it can be good, but it can also be good. I mean, it can be bad, but it can also be good. Kind of, they're both good and bad. It kind of just depends on when and how you use it. Honestly, that's kind of what it's up to. How and when you use it. Can I regen my shield, please? Okay, there we go. Wow, that's uh, quite a bit of shield. Let's just kill that guy so that we just have that extra. We have one, 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 one health, max health. Uh huh, that went away. Okay. At least I have more health now. Alright, so let's hop into a time lapse and speed run this. Let's go!